Hello there, welcome back to all you folks out there who've got air pistols and air rifles and like to do a little bit of plinking. This one's for you. This is just a very quick performance review of this thing. Now this is an Anglo Arms Magnetic Knockdown Duck Target. Basically the idea is that you shoot these targets, they're knocked over and there's a bar that runs along the back here with magnets on. When they're knocked down, they stick to the magnet. So bang, 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 bang. Once you've shot all your duck targets, you would then shoot this one. This one is attached to the bar with the magnets on. So that one would knock the targets back up again. It's just a very quick view inside. You have a bar running along here, which holds your duck targets, which are swiveled and weighted on the bottom. Got a weight on the bottom there of each of them, and you've got a similar weight on this other target. That's the reset one. So that one's on a separate bar. There's your magnets there. You've got one there, one there. In fact, you've got one behind all the targets. So shoot them all down, hit that, these pop back up. That's the theory. For the purpose of this test, I'll be using my HW45 177 air pistol. Now this is one of the more powerful air pistols you can get in the UK. The legal limit there is six feet pounds of muzzle energy. This comes out roughly 5.9, which propels a tiny little pellet like that at approximately 600 feet per second. So given the very good performance of this particular pistol, I am expecting it to knock down those targets, seeing as it is marketed for use with air pistols. So let's see how it gets on. I'm going to be shooting this target from approximately 7 metres away. This is 7 metres. Obviously where you're looking from here, it isn't 7 metres away. But if I put the camera 7 metres back, which is approximately 23, 24 feet, you're not going to see much of the target. So I'm leaving the camera in close and I'm shooting from way behind. Hopefully you'll be able to see these targets get knocked down and more importantly you'll be able to hear it as well because I'm expecting it to make a lovely plinking sound. See the marks here? I was horrendously low on some of those shots, but I have got the sights set for 10 meters, and at the moment I'm shooting at 7, so it will be shooting a little bit low. Nevertheless, it worked very, very well when I could hit the targets, and I'll be the first to say that I do need practice, so I'm going to get good use out of that. Now, I had about 25 or 30 shots there, obviously, I've edited most of them out, including the misses. Now there was a couple of pellets that actually didn't get caught within this thing. They bounce back out, but they're extremely flat and they literally only bounced about a foot back and fell on the ground. No danger at all to anybody who's firing at it. Certainly not with an air pistol anyway. And I would imagine it would be the same with the air rifle. And on the subject of ricochets, you'll notice that this is angled, as is this piece. So if you do miss the target, the pellet actually bounces inside of here. It doesn't come back at you. I don't think it would come back at you anyway, even if that was flat, but by angling these two areas here, it just ensures that all the pellets, or the vast majority of the pellets, end up inside of here. And inside there's a little hole right in the bottom corner where you can tip this thing up and tip out all your knackered pellets. There you go. Take that to the scrap man. You notice these little mountain holes here. That means it can be mounted up in a corner or against the wall. So it doesn't have to be freestanding or resting on something like that. It can actually be mounted on a wall. 
I really like the design of this thing. It does exactly what it's supposed to, and this air pistol had no problem resetting the targets. A couple of the shots, if they were badly placed, it was on the side of the target, it didn't knock it down completely, kind of wobbled it more than knocking it down to get held down. But that's just down to my dodgy shooting. A good hit will result in the target being thrown back and kept on the magnet ready for resetting. I think the retail on these is round about £30 so for me to get one under £20 delivered uh, made me very happy. My son is certainly going to love shooting these targets and we'll have some good times together with this. I've also got some little spinner targets which I've got attached to trees around my wood which are more suitable for practicing hunting techniques with the air pistol or an air rifle. So in an upcoming video I'll review them as well. Thanks very much for watching, catch you next time. Groovy.